No doubt many of you will have seen the movie The Grapes of Wrath, the great 1940 movie that was based on the migration of the Joad family during the Dust Bowl from the Midwest to California. Well, when they finally made it along Route 66, Barstow, and over the mountain behind me, which you can't see because of the uh, haze today, when they did finally make it over here, they really thought that they would be entering a promised land in California. And as happened often along the route, they were met with uh, disappointment because, um, well, people didn't want, a lot of people didn't want migrants upsetting the town. They didn't want to have to be uh, responsible for caring for them or feeding for them. And they just did not want them hanging around their towns and they just pushed them along pushed them along pushed them along well you know the dust bowl was terrible in the 1930s mid 1930s due to a combination of poor farming methods and an incredibly dry spell of, of weather with no rain whatsoever many families were forced hundreds of thousands of families and people were forced to abandon farming and make their way west here to california of course the loss there was the gain for california because people with get up and go came here and brought their work ethic with them and a lot of them ended up living in a camp here called weed patch camp which was john steinbeck's book the grapes of wrath was specifically based on this camp where the jode family finally ended here their long journey and they were welcomed by a United States Government Department of Agriculture camp where I am today and it was a real it was a real blessing for them because for the first time they couldn't even believe how welcome they, they were and they were able to find that decent housing as you can see behind me here and uh, we're gonna look around a little bit the uh, old section of uh, weed patch here they are closed it is Sunday today but um, this still functions today as a migrant camp for farm workers believe it or not let's take a uh, look around at this significant piece of dust bowl history it's another place that no tourists ever visit and in a way that's kind of sad i'm not really quite sure if this is still federally managed or not but you can see um people have pretty nice pretty nice looking housing units here I don't know what the capacity is at the current time of course like many places in America uh, businesses agribusiness is stressed for workers um, so you see they're not bad looking not bad looking places for the modern ones they have a high school and an elementary school here you can see the laundry hanging out a laundry room here we believe there's at least swamp coolers. It is 100 degrees right now. And I just imagine these um, workers without benefit of air conditioning and working hot days in the fields and then coming here uh, with really no relief during the summertime at night and just basically sweating it out. There's the, uh, there's a sign there. Take a little peek through here. See, that's the uh, Sunset Migratory Labor Camp in Arvin, California. And I believe that we can see a few of the original buildings here. How quiet it is here. Unbelievable. I am actually about uh, 10 miles uh, southeast of uh, Bakersfield. And uh, they do have that fenced in over here but we can see some of the buildings from the outside to uh, see what they look like these would be the original structures that were put up by the department of agriculture in the uh, 1930s and they did have a reputation of running good decent camps where they didn't tolerate a lot of they didn't tolerate bullying they didn't tolerate um, harassing of migrants that were coming in to do uh, farm work and I think that was a good thing it was like I said if you ever saw the movie the grapes of wrath or read the book you realize the pressure monetarily emotionally 
that a lot of these families were under when they packed up all their belongings and maybe a junky old 1920s um, truck loaded the whole crew on furniture and everything and dared to come over 2,000 miles west over the Rockies, the Wasatch, the um, Sierras to get over here into California. I mean, it's just, when I say get up and go, I really mean they had a lot of get up and go and they got up and went and they came here and they just had that hard driving uh, dream of building a new life for themselves and at the end of the line here at this uh, work camp called Weed Patch in the Grapes of Wrath they did find that respite and respect as human beings after all those uh, terrible weeks and sometimes months on the road fighting to make their way west. One of the greatest mass migrations in human history. It all ended right here. Well, that's definitely 1930s construction then. And don't know if that would be a house or a individual housing unit or a community unit. One of the huge threats that the migrants faced when they came west was being tagged as communists and um, uh, people that were looking for government handouts and wanted to change the way the uh, even change the way the government ran of the United States agitators and if you remember one scene in a movie some of the locals were planning to well invade a dance that they were having that night at the uh, camp and raise a little mayhem and um, scare people to get them out of town. A lot of people, as I say, did not want, longtime residents did not want these, these new migrants in their area of uh, California here. In the movie, of course, the situation was defused. There wasn't a fight, but it is a very uh, famous scene in the movie, as is the camp administrator telling these people are almost in disbelief that this guy's being nice to them and telling them, yeah, we got a place for you to stay. It'll cost this much, cheap, and you'll be able to settle your family and find work. And, uh, well, kind of made for a happy ending of the movie, didn't it? What an enormous camp. All very standardized housing, but pretty nice. No air conditioning, but I think that they do have uh, swamp coolers. complex is huge here and to think this is still going on today housing issues for migrants and as you know picking and working in the fields does not pay a lot we can see the mountain behind maybe a little better back there yeah that the uh, Jode family would have come over to get down here to weed patch to the camp So if you've not seen the movie Grapes of Wrath, I really encourage you to watch it. It was a, uh, 1939 and 1940, of course, we're blessed with uh, the golden era of Hollywood, the golden age. Some of the best movies ever produced, and certainly the Grapes of Wrath, it really launched the career 
big time of uh, Henry Fonda as the uh, principal son of the uh, oldest son of the Jode family and then all the difficulties of moving the family uh, out to California including how to deal with people that just didn't want to leave and of course uh, old grandpa didn't want to go at all don't kid yourself though it is wretched hot here today It's 105 degrees out. It certainly makes you, uh, you come out here and you certainly get a real appreciation for uh, air conditioning and what a blessing that is in our world today. I'm just waiting for a couple cars to just clear. We'll be on our way with a few concluding thoughts. I really enjoy coming to these places that really no tourists ever visit. And everybody was very nice to me in there. They were all waved and were friendly. And that, uh, that made me real happy. I can't help but wonder with the current state of the droughts in California right now if we're not reaching a point where we may have people start to exit California because of climate and wouldn't it be something if we had some kind of uh, reverse migration where it just became impractical if not impossible to really grow crops in this environment anymore. There's a heck of a thought for today. Your thumbs up are most appreciated. If you're not subscribed, please do. This gives you an idea of some of the content that I really enjoy doing. And uh, if you're a part of that, make sure to hit that bell so you get all notifications of all up uploads and live streams. So I want to thank you all for being along today. And uh, once again, thumbs up are appreciated. A lot of food for thought out here. Weed Patch Camp, about 10 miles southeast of Bakersfield, in a very hot, hot, hot Southern California. Thank you.